Welcome to Win Win, the game that teaches the benefits of free trade. To prepare for playing Win Win, we suggest you bring in standard lunch bags, one for each student in your class. Have each student bring in two items they are willing to trade. Indicate the items are to fit into the lunch bag. These items should be new or near new and have an approximate value of $1. Both items must fit into the trading bag. After collecting the trading items from your students, place two items in each bag. Feel free to mix and match from all the collected items. Before the game, make sure each student has a pencil or something else to write with. They will need it to score their satisfaction score. Be sure to print enough satisfaction scorecards from the scorecard PDF located on the win-win document disk. Sometime before the end of round three, create this chart. It can be on your blackboard, whiteboard, a poster board, or whatever works in your classroom. This chart will be used at the end of the game to show the satisfaction score totals for the entire class. Round one, ownership of property. Allow two minutes for students to review their property. To start the game, hand out the bags. Tell your students not to look into the bag. Think of this bag as being yours. It is now your property. So you can open up your bag and take a look at your items, okay? On the round one cards, I want you to consider how much you like the two items you have. And I want you to rate each item on the scorecard. So you, you have something and you decide, I really don't like this that much. I wouldn't have very much fun with it. I don't have any use for it and nobody in my family likes it. I'm going to give it a zero. I think it stinks. Now, others of you may have items that you really like and you think are really cool. And you may want to score that item a four or a five. Two minutes later. Consider the toys you have. Think about how much you like them, whether it's a toy or whatever item you have. Make sure you write down that score, OK? To write down your scores, make sure you score each item for round one. Round two, restricted trade. Trading time, approximately four minutes. That was the end of round one. Now the fun really begins. But there are some restrictions on what you can do, so listen carefully. In round two, everybody at your group, at your table group here, are your trading partners, okay? So when I tell you to go, you get to trade with anyone around you right here in this table group. No one else just this table, okay? Ready, set, trade. Now keep in mind, you don't have to trade if you don't want to. Four minutes later. Time's up. This is the end of the second round of trading. This time we're gonna rate the scores the same way we did in the first round. If it stinks, you're gonna give it a zero. If it's great, you're gonna give it a four or a five. And if it's somewhere in between, you have one, two, and three. Rate each item you have. If you ended up with more than two items by virtue of some clever entrepreneurs in the class, I want you to go ahead and rate those top two items, the ones you like the most, okay? Round three, free trade. Trading time, approximately six minutes. For round three, we're gonna open it up to the whole class. That means everybody gets to trade with everybody. It's going to be a little nuts in this classroom because it's pretty small and there are a lot of you guys. But do your best, okay, and get ready to trade in round three. Take your items. You're going to have a little bit extra time for this round. Ready, set, trade. Six minutes later. Okay, time's up. Everybody find your seats. You're going to do the exact same thing with these round three scorecards, rating your items. If you ended up with more than two items, go ahead and rate those top two items, the ones you like the most. Okay, now let me ask you guys a question. Raise your hand if you're better off. 
now than when we started the game. Raise your hand if you're more satisfied with the items you currently have than when we started the game. It's time to total the class's satisfaction scores for each round. Have students help total the scores. By now, you should have your satisfaction score chart created and displayed for your class to see. For round one, the grand total satisfaction score for the class was 112. After two rounds of trade, where you opened up the trade just to the to the people in your small group, the final score was 146. And after three rounds of trade, you guys bumped the score up all the way to 164. And that's why we call the game win-win. Everybody was made better off from trading. Win-win is a game that's been used successfully around the country to teach the benefits of free and open trade. And as you saw here today, we had a great time with hands-on, real-life fun with open trade. We hope that you and your classroom will give it a top satisfaction score. Okay, hopefully you've run the game successfully. What's next? A great place to start is a question and answer period in which you discuss what happened in the game. Here is a list of discussion objectives we call the five P's. We hope you'll share your own learning objectives as well. Learning objective one is property. Without property ownership, there can be no trade. People either fight over resources or race to exploit them. Ownership is a precondition of trade. Learning objective two is personal preference. We learn that people value different things, well, differently. If we didn't value things differently, it would be a lot harder to trade. But because some people like, say, lip gloss more, and some like cards more, it's easy to find mutual satisfaction. As we say, it's win-win. Learning objective three is personal freedom. We can see that the more choices people have, the easier it is to find personal satisfaction in the marketplace. Freedom of choice is essential for open trade. Learning objective four is protectionism. We learn that barriers to trade limit our options and thus our ability to satisfy our wants and needs. The more people there are to trade with, the easier it is to prosper. Learning objective five is prosperity through trade. When people trade, everyone is made better off. Trade is not zero sum, which means someone is made worse off. Trade is positive sum, which means everyone is made better off. Prosperity is the product of trade. Let us know about your experience. For more classroom ideas, visit us at isit.org.